So what changes with this AUKUS announcement compared to what we have now and transitioning through the various submarine types? Let's take a look first of all at what we have right now, the Collins class submarines and the capability. Remember these are diesel submarines, 78 metres in length, 42 crew members. Time underwater is a crucial one. This is how long a submarine can sit underwater, perhaps monitoring things, perhaps waiting, perhaps on some sort of stealth mission. Two to 60 days. Why does it say that? Well, they can only do one to two days in terms of getting under there and travelling, going at a fast rate. If they're doing absolutely nothing, turn down all various devices, stop crew having hot showers, all that sort of thing, maybe they can go 60 days. But the point is, while they're fully operational, it's a very short time they can be underwater. Up to 11,500 nautical miles is the range. Again, that depends what you're doing, whether you're above surface, below surface as well. And the speed there, 20 knots. We're going next to the Virginia-class submarine. This is the one we'll get in the 2030s from the UF. You can see a much bigger boat, 140 metres, bigger crew, 132. The time underwater, that's actually as long as you have food. So give or take for all submarines, we're just going to say about three months, at which point you usually need to restock. But this is fully operational, very different to what you can do in a diesel sub. And the range, unlimited. It's got its fuel source in there. It lasts for decades. Top speed, a little bit variable depending on the model and how that sort of might uh, progress as well, but 25 to 35 knots, so much quicker. By the way, double knots if you want to go to kilometres per hour. So that's Virginia. What about the AUKUS sub? What capability will that have? We don't know right now, but remember it's based on the Astute, the UK class there. So length, maybe it will be about 97 metres or so. Maybe that changes. 100 crew in the current astute, so maybe that's a decent guide. Again, for time underwater and range, this is what you put down for a nuclear sub, so three months and unlimited. And speed there is a bit of a question mark because it can be up to 35 knots right now. There's always a bit of debate. There's the sort of testing speed versus the design speed and so on. But will we see them try to push that capability out given this is going to be a new submarine and speed does matter? And what about comparing it to what China has, at least right now? And this could be something that China improves on, of course. The Shang class capability. China has six of these nuclear submarines at the moment. You can see similar length and crew, 135 metres, 100 crew. These two here, again, that just denotes that it's a nuclear submarine. It can be underwater a long time, unlimited range. Top speed of this is 30 knots. What happens in the future, though, for Chinese capability? We don't know. They are spending a lot more money in defence and in submarines. And how do we look at overall uh, submarine fleets in terms of countries right now? First of all, total subs. This factors in nuclear and conventional submarines. You can see China and Russia have a lot, and they dwarf the number of the US. North Korea has a lot as well. UK 11 and Australia just six. But we're talking about cutting-edge nuclear submarines are going to be, we think, the kings and queens of the sea in the future. Current nuclear fleet, 68. So the US, all their submarines are nuclear. And this is where you see Russia and China much lower at uh, 29 and 12. The UK, again, all of their submarines being nuclear. France at eight. Australia at zero. So Australia will get up to at least uh, eight submarines, possibly more. The US will increase. The UK will increase as well. The big question is... Not so much Russia, but China. They're going to significantly increase their number of nuclear submarines, and that's what part of this is about. How much in, in the future Russia and China have and the fact that other countries other than the US need to increase their fleet to be able to have this sort of global presence in terms of nuclear submarines.